story. Somebody sent this to me knowing I'd have an interest in it, and uh, I know you'll have an interest in it. Look at this. Always telling you guys not to date single mothers, and I give you a list of reasons why you shouldn't do it. And now look at this story from the New York Law Journal. This was sent to me by a listener. And it's, uh, it, have you been wondering? Every week on Like Us 101, you hear me saying on the air, do not date single mothers. 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 I tell you, do not do it. Here's why. From the New York Law Journal, the latest reason not to date single mothers. He who acts like a father is a father, if not biologically, then at least legally. The Court of Appeals said last Thursday, in imposing equitable paternity, in quotes, on a man who wrongly assumed he had fathered a girl and acted accordingly. So you understand what happened here? Girlfriend lies to a man, says, oh, there she is, your daughter. And he, having been defrauded legally, proceeds to, oh, I don't know, what do you do when you have a little girl? You know, I paint the nursery pink, buy little gifts, buy clothing, say gaga and goo goo, whatever you do. The guy had been defrauded into doing it, started doing it. Says here, the, the court, in the matter of J. Shondell, oh, Shondell J. versus Mark D. No last names. Uh, Mark D. 40 upheld the trial court and the appellate division, second department, in ordering a man to pay child support on behalf of a child he did not father. So you see, the slut, the whore that lived with this guy, told him he was a father, lied to him. He did what he thought was the right thing. Remember I told you about doing the right thing? He did what he thought was the right thing. Turned out doing the right thing is the wrong thing. Because by acting like a father, bang, bang, boom, he is a father, whether he likes it or not. Whether it's true or not. It says here, in, in doing so, meaning ordering him to pay child support, the court recognized the legislatively endorsed concept of equity paternity, or what is also known as paternity by estoppel. It's a legal term. Shondell J. centers on a Guyana native who, while living in New York, met a woman in Guyana while visiting family in 1995. After the man, Mark D., returned to New York... The woman, Shondell J., these are initials, informed him that she was pregnant and carrying his child. Mark did not dispute his paternity. Instead, see, he did not dispute it. I tell you guys always to demand a DNA test. Never pay one penny until you've seen proof you're the father. I tell you this all the time. Now we go to the New York Law Journal. Let me find out why I'm right. Instead of challenging paternity, he helped pay for Shondell's pregnancy, visited the girl he thought was his, and made her a beneficiary of his life insurance. All because he'd been defrauded legally. He also signed a letter affirming his fatherhood so the child could obtain immigration papers. Then in 1999, he married another woman, and they have children.
Like, so these two didn't even live together. It was a visit to Guyana. And he thought he had knocked this chick up. That's what happened. Says here, the next year, Shondell moved to New York and lodged a paternity position, I'm sorry, a paternity petition in Brooklyn, and Mark filed a separate visitation petition. A court-ordered DNA test proved that Mark was not the father. At that point, Mark attempted to sever ties with the girl, but he was equitably stopped, that's the term they use, from disclaiming paternity and ordered to pay child support. The child support amounted to $78 weekly plus back child support of $12,859. Mark has had no personal contact with the child in six years. On appeal, Mark argued that the imposition of equitable, pater equitable paternity effectively saddled him with an involuntary adoption in violation of the Constitution and contrary to public policy. But the Second Department and now the Court of Appeals focused not on whether Mark got a raw deal, but on the best interests of the child. Of course, wouldn't the best interest of the child to know who the father really is? So the child could get to know the real father? So the real father could participate in the upbringing of the child by at least paying the child support he's legally required to pay? No, nope, apparently that's too much trouble for the New York State Court of Appeals. Instead, you know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, tag, you're it, you're the dad. That's it, done. Don't care if you're really the dad, tough luck. Story goes on, but uh, it's painful to even think about it. Bottom line here, folks, and this is what I tell you, the law is heading in this direction. It's already been this way in Washington State for a long time, now New York State. If you do not challenge paternity, if you do not demand a DNA test, what you consider to be doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You do not support a child if you don't know it's yours. You do not move in with a single mother. You don't move in with single mothers who have children. You don't move in with a woman who has a child she says is yours, but you have no proof. You just don't do it. Best way to go, you don't date a single mother, period. And when a woman says, I'm pregnant with your child, you say, fine, I'll see you at the DNA lab. You just don't start doing this. Uh, do you folks think the court was right? Do you think the court did the right thing here? Ordering the guy to pay child support even though he had been defrauded? He was not the father, but he started acting like the father because he believed he was the father. Because he was led to believe he was the father by a liar. What do you think? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Boy, it's great to talk to you, man. You're like therapy for me. Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1. JLSX. Free FM. I'm so glad you got tickets to this concert. Yeah, definitely. These guys put on a killer show. Great. Let's go. Wait. It's just the open band. Let's get a little stone first. It's crazy strong. Here you go. Um... This is the moment your guidance can prevent your teen from smoking marijuana. So visit theantidrug.com and learn how to set clear rules about drugs. Parents, the anti-drug. Sponsored by the ONDCP and the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Sometimes diet and exercise just aren't enough to give you the hard body you want. If you failed at trying to build muscle while losing fat, you need 99 Degree Thermacore. 99 Degree Thermacore rapidly raises your body temperature to help you burn fat fast. Pick up the phone and call to find out how to get your free bottle of new 99 Degree Thermacore. Call 877-299-CORE. Don't just burn fat, incinerate it. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Call 877-299-CORE. 877-299-CORE. Core. This is Rocky Moselle with International Star Registry. Give someone special to you the gift that will be remembered for years to come. Name a star after them. The Star Registry will name a star after anyone on your gift list for $54 and a call to 800-282-3333 or visit StarRegistry.com. It's the perfect gift for birthdays, weddings, and just about any occasion. Give the ultimate gift. Call the Star Registry at 800-282-3333 or visit StarRegistry.com. We proudly support the Starlight Star Bright Children's Foundation. You know when you open a birthday card from Grandma? She's usually good for, what, like five bucks? 
Well, now imagine that you have a hundred grandmas. It feels like that. Have you ever gotten out of your car and something catches your eye on the ground? You walk over and find a $5 bill? Okay, now pretend you find a $495 bill next to it. It's just like that. New GEICO customers report average annual savings of $500 on their car insurance. Discover how it feels and how much you could save. Go to GEICO.com. Simple as that. Tonight on Fox, take some steel, add some wood, and turn up the heat. Live from Pittsburgh, it's the 2006 All-Star Game on Fox. The nation's eyes will be riveted on baseball's men of steel as they clash in the Midsummer Classic. Will the National League capture its first All-Star win in nearly a decade, or will the American League bats continue to pound out dominance? It is going to be a battle. It's for home field advantage in the World Series. Who will strike the deciding blow? Who holds? Big Poppy, A Rod, or will it be hometown hero Jason Bay? That is hammered. Forget it. Goodbye. The 77th annual All Star Game in HD, live from Pittsburgh, tonight at 5 Pacific, only on Fox. Don't miss the biggest sporting event of the summer tonight, starting at 5 p.m., only on Fox 11. Why do you spend all that time trying to hide your baldness? It just looks awkward, and you're not fooling anybody. This is Tim Conway Jr. for 97.1 Free FM. If you're serious about wanting your natural hairline back, do what I did and call Sword Medical Center for a hair replacement consultation. Now, I don't care what kind of BS you've heard about the lasers, the creams, the pills, my boo. There's only one FDA proven way to get your natural hairline back, and that's with a professional hair transplantation procedure. With 32 years as a medical doctor and over 22,000 surgical procedures, he's helped more Southern Californians recover from hair loss than any other practicing physician. Trust me, Tim Conway Jr., if you want to look your best, call Sword Medical Center now and find out why so many people trust Dr. Randall Sword to restore their natural looking hairlines i did twice call 1-800-242-6900 or visit swordmedical.com call dr sword now at 1-800-242-6900 this guy's awesome Woo, that was close i thought i'd miss the takeoff who are you i'm taco bell spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme i'll be your co-pilot but you're a spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme and this is a space shuttle mission oh i thought it was a spice shuttle mission my mistake no this is a space shuttle mission and your Taco Bell food. Can I go anyway? No, we're very particular about the food we bring into space. Sir, I understand your concern. Chili and zero gravity, bad combo. Sloppy Joe's, even worse. But I'm sealed in a grilled flour tortilla. I'm good to go. You're good to go? Roger that. I'm good to go. Ignition. The new spicy chicken crunch wrap supreme. Shredded chicken simmered in Mexican spices. With melty, crunchy, cool Taco Bell taste loaded into a flour tortilla grilled and good to go. At participating locations. Got a taste for something crunchy, spicy, melty, or grilled? Then head to Taco Bell and experience fourth meal. The late night meal between dinner and breakfast. For exciting late night taste. Think outside the bun. Taco Bell is open till 1 a.m. or later. Hours may vary by location. 97.1 97.1 Free Tom like his show. 1-800-5800 Tom is our telephone number. Hi. Bo on the Tom like his show. Hello. Father. Son. I've been. I've tried to call you a thousand times. It's great to get through. Here we are. My best friend. I was in the Air Force with him. I got deployed to Korea and came back to him having knocked up this chick. He tried to break up with her a bunch of times before. He broke up with her, and she told him that she was pregnant. So, of course, he gets back together with her. He ends up marrying her so she can have uh, the benefits that we got when we were in the Air Force. Right. So she goes on base, has the baby, long story, and they had a paternity test about it because they were going to get a divorce, and the kid didn't look like him at all. I told him the whole time it wasn't his kid. She just used him. It wasn't his kid. He had to pay child support until the divorce was up, 
and then for another year, something like that, because of his military benefits for the baby. Yep. Same type thing. Well, the, these morons who keep doing this, I keep telling them not to do it, and they do it anyway. It's a joke. It's a total joke, Bo. It's a total joke. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, Tasha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, I am a teacher, quite conservative here in Mesa, Arizona, born and raised a staunch Mormon, but this is ridiculous. This man has no business at all paying any money to this woman. He did what he thought was the right thing, and for the courts to get involved in this is just ludicrous. You know, this child has a father. Go to that father. This man didn't legally adopt him. He has every right to just walk away from this woman. Yes. Why is this woman forced, for example, to give a list of all the men she slept with? I agree. And then why do we uh, uh, mandate DNA testing for all of them? You know, I agree. It is just ridiculous. Um, I have two teenage sons, and I have two daughters, one of which is a teenager. And if this happened to them, I just can't even imagine what would be happening in my neighborhood because I would be blowing a gasket. I just... This is ridiculous. What business is it of the courts, whether he's a nice guy or not? This guy basically got screwed because he was trying to help a person out. And that's just, you know. That's why guys shouldn't do that. I agree. I totally agree with you. A lot of times they don't agree with what you say because of, uh, you know, my beliefs as far as premarital sex and all that. But that's a different thing. But when it comes down to children, being a teacher, you want to take care of them. But it's not his responsibility. Not his at all. That's right. Of course, they're totally wrong. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Al on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Good. First time caller. Yes. Let me, uh, may I make a comment real quick? Uh, if you own the DNA, you own the child support, okay? I would love to see a law saying that any child that wants to have a, a social security number or a birth certificate here in the United States should have to have a DNA test taken immediately at birth, even if the woman is married or unmarried. Well, I, I go a step further. I think DNA testing should be mandatory for every live birth, period. Yeah, you know, and we get into a murky area about uh, privacy and all, but you know what? In this day and age, you know, people have to protect themselves from all kinds of... Uh, well, I think if, you, I, I, if you're if you trying to raid someone's bank account, your right to privacy is over as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Uh, if you want to take a man's paycheck, then you better damn well be able to prove that man is the father of your child. That's it. Exactly. Why is, that, why is this a controversy? It shouldn't be. Right. We, I, I'm, I'm livid about this. I mean, and I'm not, I don't understand why people who are the smartest people in the world, our legislature, our government, can't think of the simple little solution well no they they've got the oh, no pal they've got the solution and here is what is happening uh your legislature wherever they may be uh they simply don't want to pay welfare or food stamps or anything to anybody so they would rather let these sluts go out get knocked up by who knows who and then they have some sucker who isn't even the father who would pay and be mandated to pay. It's your government reaching into the pockets of people who are not even responsible for these responsibilities. Exactly. And you know what? A man should be able to go and take a, you know, look up that DNA, take a DNA test himself. I don't care if it's now when the baby's born or when it's, you know, 30, 20, 30 years down the line. You should have the right to make sure that that's yours. If you make it law that you have to have it right off the bat, then nobody gets offended. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it solves a whole lot of problems. On the other hand, though, there might be a whole lot more divorces. Well, right you know what the there'd bat. be a whole lot less of? There'd be a lot less unwanted pregnancies. There'd be a lot more women being careful about using birth control if they knew they couldn't steal from you to pay for that child. Exactly. And you know what? A lot of these women are like, oh, well, you can't plan these things. Bull. You know? It's bull. You can plan them. It's 99, contraception is 99%, 99% effective. You know, these days aren't the dark ages. Get with it, ladies. I agree with Thanks, you, Al. Tom. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jen on the Tom Likas show. Hello, how are you? Great. I would like to know, you're saying that men shouldn't date single mothers. Should not date single mothers, correct. 
what does that have to do with this woman lying to the man and saying that, you know, he's the father that... Well, because what happens is, you see, what he did is what many times guys do when they date a single mother. In other words, they uh, help out around the house. They help pay bills. They help with child rearing or child care. And then ultimately, uh, if they try to leave the relationship, there are now judges who come in and say, guess what? You've acted like a father. Therefore, you are the father. Now pay up. Well, if a man's entering into that kind of situation and he knows that's why i'm telling guys not to enter into the situation okay because guys think because guys think that just because it's not their child they won't be forced to pay and i've just given you more proof that it's happening more and more I, and i agree that, that this man shouldn't have to pay any child support i think that's ridiculous i just i i was a single mother um i am now married and have been married for five years and i can't imagine that I would, if anything were to happen between me and my husband, I would go after him. I certainly didn't go after her father for any money. But you could. I could. But that's but my I... point. You shouldn't be able to. And therefore, the, the surest way for a woman not to be able to go after a guy for child support for children that aren't his is not to date a single mother. Okay. Fair enough, if that's your opinion. It is indeed. All right. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How the heck are you? Doing great. All right. Hey, what is our legal system coming to? Well, I'm telling you, if you boys don't start getting motivated and uh, active and start uh, demanding to know why these laws are this way, uh, one day it's going to be you. Uh, yeah, it, it, it could happen to anybody. I mean, obviously, I mean, this, this, poor, this poor schmuck, you know, tried to do the right thing got duped into this thing, and now he's stuck paying child support for a kid that's not even his. You know what we say on this show, the right thing is the wrong thing. Oh, definitely. You should always get a DNA test. You should never pay to support another person's children. You should never, never move in with anyone with children. You should never do anything that resembles child rearing. You should be missing on Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, kids' birthdays. You should not be there. Because these are all the things that will end up uh, getting you ding for child support. Now, now, how many states have a comparable law like this? Well, I don't know because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a law professor. All I know is I know for sure since we've been talking about it on the air that uh, Washington State dings guys for child support for children that aren't theirs. And now we see that New York State does it, too. Well, I'm, I'm sure California is coming right behind them. Uh, well, we have heard reports from people that uh, uh, they have also gotten dinged in California, but uh, we haven't been able to confirm those. Uh, yeah, it's, this this is just absolutely stupid. I, I, I can't understand how they can Im impose child support on somebody that, that it's not their kid, I mean, period. Right? I totally agree with you. A woman can lie, and if she's a good enough liar for a long enough time, the guy is stuck. Yeah, that, and then he that, gives then he gives money to the woman. She doesn't have to provide any receipts. She doesn't have to prove the kid is getting any of that money. Yeah, that's that's ludicrous. I, I don't agree with it at all. And I, I wish I wish all men and whoever else would would go to the legislature and and demand that all be overturned. I mean, it's it's unconstitutional. Well, it certainly should be. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. What is your take on Internet dating? Most of the women are fat and don't like to send you pictures. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1. KLSX. Free FM. Sometimes diet and exercise just aren't enough to give you the hard body you want. If you failed at trying to build muscle while losing fat, you need 99 Degree Thermacore. 99 Degree Thermacore rapidly raises your body temperature to help you burn fat fast. Pick up the phone and call to find out how to get your free bottle of new 99 Degree Thermacore. Call 877-299-CORE. Don't just burn fat, incinerate it. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Call 877-299-CORE. 877-299-CORE. Core. Hello, would you like to be more successful with the opposite sex? 
I'm Ted Baker, and my program can teach you how to attract a mate. Listen to this. Ted told me about logging on to FreeCreditReport.com. I learned that my good credit could help me buy a car and a boat, and now chicks dig me. My patented system could work for you, too. Log on to FreeCreditReport.com to get your free credit score and report. A nice condo could make you irresistible. Get your free credit score and report with enrollment in Triple Advantage at FreeCreditReport.com. Get the score. 97.1 Free FM Traffic. We've got a SIG alert in Anaheim, 91 eastbound before Highway 241. The right lane is closed because a big rig lost a load of heavy machinery here. Another SIG alert in Long Beach, 710 southbound transition to the 405. Watch out, an accident involving a tractor trailer here on its side has the right lane taken away. Also in Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard in Highland, that's closed to through traffic. They're in preparation for an award show right now. It's Sit and Sleep's 26th anniversary sale. Where you're going to Save a ton and with your good credit, pay nothing for a full year. Sit and Sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free. Don't worry, guys. More Tom Lycus wisdom is on the way on 97.1 Free FM. I've been looking at white fluffy clouds right now and I can see the detail like I've never been able to see before. You're listening to Rick Steeles from Mar Vista, an Excel Laser Vision patient. Rick had been wondering about laser surgery for months. So I did my research and six of my friends went to Dr. Musa. As in Dr. Musa of Excel Laser Vision. You know, everybody was just as nice as they could be. I went through the process. I didn't feel any pain at all. In fact, it went so quick. Why wait? Dr. Musa is Harvard trained. He's done this over 40,000 times and he'll help you get comments like this. Now everybody says, wow, what's different about you? Your blue eyes are so blue. I'm going like, yes, I love it. <laughs> Get it done now. Call 866-92-EXCEL. That's 866-92-EXCEL. Ask about their no-interest financing. Yeah, you can make payments. It has absolutely changed my life. Call now to customize your eyes with custom LASIK. 866-92-EXCEL. 866-92-EXCEL. Or go to ExcelEYE.com. I called Hootia X57 for a free bottle to try, and I lost 13 pounds. I've tried so many other diet products, and Hootia X57 is the one that works. So far, I've lost 17 pounds. I heard the ad on the radio, called to try a free bottle of Hootia X57, and now I'm a big believer. It even helped me with my cravings. Hi, I'm Robert Brewer, founder of Hootia X57. Hootia is an all-natural diet ingredient that kills your appetite and helps you lose weight. The results have been featured on 60 Minutes, ABC News, and The Today Show. Just take Hootie X57 with 100% pure Hootie before you eat to curb your appetite and to increase your metabolism. I'm so confident that you'll lose weight that I'm willing to give you a free bottle so you can put it to the test. Call now for your free bottle of Hootie X57. Call 1-800-757-1484. That's 1-800-757-1484. Free bottles for a limited time, so call 1-800-757-1484. That's 1-800-757-1484. Attention, truck, Jeep, and SUV owners. Have summer gas prices got you burning up? Get down now to Four Wheel Parts to increase fuel savings and horsepower. Check out gas saving packages from Air Aid Filters, MagnaFlow Exhaust, HyperTech Programmers, Super Chips, Banks, and many more. Plus, save up to 10% of all performance packages. Let your engine breathe easier with the K&N Air Intake and receive up to a $50 rebate. Plus, receive a free K&N oil filter with the purchase of a K&N replacement filter. Right now, save up to $400 on Procom suspension tire and wheel packages dress up your truck with a set of custom wheels right now buy three pro comp forged wheels and get the fourth free or get fifty dollars off a set of selected american racing wheels plus stop by four wheel parts on saturday july 5th for their red white and blue sale and receive a 100 gift certificate towards your next installation come on down to four wheel parts with 10 stores in southern california call 1-800-322-5337 or log on to fourwheelparts.com four wheel parts performance centers Hey, get that chicken wing out of your mouth because the girls of Hooters are getting out of their orange shorts and into bikinis for the annual Hooters Swimsuit Contest. Oh, yeah. You can join the Lycats at the competitions today at the Vault 350 in Long Beach and next Thursday at the Highlands in the Kodak Theater Complex at Hollywood and Highland. Get there early before all the other horny guys. The two hottest Hooters girls will go to the international contest in Vegas on July 25th. You can buy advanced tickets for that right now at any Hooters. Another tacky yet unrefined night of bikinis from Hooters at 97.1 KLSX Free FM. From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. All right. New York State High Court. 
says that just because a guy was duped into believing he was the father of a child doesn't mean he should be able to get away without paying. So now he has to pay $12,000 in back child support for a child that isn't his. Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? I'm good. How are you? All right. What up? Nothing. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a complete dichotomy of, of everything you preach against. I'm a, I'm a single guy, born and raised at the beach in San Diego, met a chick online. She had a kid, got her pregnant, married, and I'm a family law attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the bases covered, man. Let me let me tell you a couple things that um that I think may be possibly misinforming the audience about. The first one is what's known as the Bradley Amendment. Have you heard of that? No. The Bradley Amendment is a law in place that does not allow child support to be retroactive. But that's in California, Kevin. That's in California. Yeah, you're correct, Tom. That is not California. true in New York, Washington. This shows her in 45 markets. Sure, and I apologize for that. But let, can, I, can, I, can I get in one thing that I think is extremely important for people to understand? Yeah. And, and this has to do with child support and people in the military. Can I, can I give a brief comment on this real quick? Well, yeah, but again, we're, I want to try to keep it to what we're talking about here. Okay, okay, I apologize then. Um, take me out bong hit style. How's that? And I love your show. Thank you, Kevin. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, hey. Yeah, so I was calling to say that a couple of years back I had a one night stand with a girl and you know, we used pretension and everything, and shortly after at work I got petitioned for child support. And my first instinct, you know, is I'm thinking that, you know, there's no way this child is mine, we use protection. So I was just gonna disregard it. And, you know, after talking to a friend, I went down to the office and, you know, talked to them, and eventually we had the uh, DNA testing done. But they told me, had I not gone down there and responded, I would have been automatically responsible. That's correct. And that's just ridiculous, you know, because I understand that there's probably a fair amount of men out there who aren't stepping up to the plate, but the system is set up to automatically make the male the bad guy in the situation. Even so, if he's not the father. Let me uh, let me tell you something, David, about what you just said. The way the law works in California, a woman who wants to ding you for child support only needs to send you notice to what the, what is called your last known address. Yeah. So let's say you moved in with your girlfriend. Uh huh. And then you moved out. Yeah. You know what your last known address is? Her address. Yeah. So what she does is she sends the notice to her own address, and then doesn't tell you about it. Yeah, uh, definitely need some uh, reform. Well, uh, they've tried to do that. Uh, we've had state legislators try to do that who've been guests on this show. In California, they can't even get heard because the state wants money. Yeah, and they don't not. care who they get it from, including people who are not even the fathers of these children. Um, huh? They don't care. It's a screwy system. It's a screwy system because we don't do anything about it. Very true. Thank you, Dave. Uh, no problem. Thanks. Appreciate the call. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Good afternoon, Tom. Yes. I have one small thing to say. It's women like that that are giving real women who can take care of themselves and their children a bad name. I'm a single mother, and I support my child. I do have a boyfriend, but he doesn't pay any of my bills. He doesn't pay anything for my son. And I don't understand how these women can get off. That's like standing in line for a welfare check when they know they don't need it. Why would you go after another man for somebody else's responsibility? When you carry that child, you deliver that child. That child is your responsibility. I'm so thrilled that you feel that way, but most women have a sense of entitlement. Yeah, well, they're not entitled to anything except to be a parent to that child. Well, that's, not what the, that's not what the court says, though. Well, And they know it. They're wrong, and they're the ones that are giving us a bad name. Well, again, they are morally wrong. But legally, the court is saying, that's okay, girls. You you could sleep with 100 different guys and then pick any one of them to be the father. That's okay with us. No. my Just son's as long as the welfare, welfare department doesn't have to pay, we don't care. Exactly. My son's father was killed in Iraq. He gets his benefits. Those go into a savings account, a trust benefit for him. 
That doesn't come to me. That goes into a trust benefit for him, and I set that up that way. You shouldn't have a child if you can't support them. But you realize if a guy moved in with you, and then he was with your kid on his birthday or took him to the baseball game, spent quality time with him, sat at the dinner table on Thanksgiving or got him a Christmas present, and then the two of you broke up, I know by the tone of your voice you wouldn't do this, but a woman can go to court and say, hey, he acted as the father. Therefore, he is the father. And that's just thievery. She's stealing from that. It's No, it's legal. Well, it's not his responsibility to raise that child. Well, I agree with you, but the courts and the government don't. Well, The courts and the government allow women to do whatever they want. There's something that has to be done about that because they're giving women that are real women who are strong and can support themselves and take care of their responsibilities a bad name. Well, as I said, the result of this is I recommend that guys not date single mothers because this is what can happen to you. It's Meg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Meg. All right, let's go to Paul on the Tom Likas show. Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm okay. Hey, I got a quick question. Now... Um, you're probably going to strike me out on this. <laughs> I'm 21 years old, okay? I was I hooked up with the uh, mother of my child, my real child, when uh, I was 17, okay, strike two. And uh, what happened was she had already had a son that was two years old, okay? But my, my question to you is because I've been supporting him, I mean, I haven't, you know, yeah, I don't feel like it's the right thing to do. It, it's what I feel in in my heart that I love this kid. You know what I mean? I this kid has grown on to me. I mean, am I if if it were to go to court, would I be screwed over because of that? Well, there's no telling. I Depends mean, on that, the judge. Could could that happen? Yes. Seven years old right now. Could it happen? Yes. Huh. Okay. Thank you. By the way, you're 21. What are you doing with all these kids? Yeah, I know. What are I, you doing? It's, it's, have you given up? Uh, you know, I still have my fun. I still have my fun. Not my, I'm not talking about fun, son. I am talking about career, oh, success. Career, law enforcement. And where's that at now? L.A. County Sheriff. Are you are you, are you actually getting a job there or hoping to? Yes, I'm actually going to be going to the police academy in about a month. Oh, so you haven't even started yet. You don't even know if you'll get that gig. Right. Right. And your college education? College, none. Why not? Because uh, you knocked up your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially you pissed that away. Yeah. Not smart. I know. Where was your I dad? Know. Where was your dad during all this? Actually, uh, he left me and my mother when I was uh, three years old. He moved to Mexico. Uh-huh. Well, you see, this is what happens when you don't have a dad around. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you and, and everything that you're doing, and uh, I really hope that all those youngsters out there, you know, like myself, are actually listening, you know, before it's too late. Uh, boy, oh boy, I hope so too, Paul. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. RJ, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How you doing, Dad? I'm all right, son. All right, my question was this. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it be, I, I don't know who comes to you and tells you, you know, that you owe child support or whatever, but if you just straight up said that you never had sex with a girl, then how could they uh, how could they prove you wrong? You are, you are guilty they... until proven innocent when it comes to paternity. Even if you say you just never even had sex? If you, you can know. say it, you're guilty until proven innocent. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Exactly. What does that mean? That means it's ridiculous. No, no. What does it mean? It means you're guilty. If you're you're assumed to be the parent until you can get DNA tests to prove you're not. Can you automatically, like, re like, say that you want DNA testing and they have to give it to you? If you respond within the prescribed time. And what would that be? Do you have any idea? It depends on the state. California. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I right. think it's a year. Uh, okay. Well, I thought maybe that was an out, but I guess not. Nope, there's no out. If you ever get a notice that says you owe child support, you demand a DNA test immediately. Of course. Do not run away and do not deny. Definitely. By the I way, was... by the way, that especially includes if you never did have sex with the chick. Right, right. Don't just throw it away. Eh, I'm not the father. Throw it away. Of course not. That's that how guys true. get stuck. Yep, I got gotcha. you.
All right, Tom, look, you take me out uh, Kobe style. Absolutely. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. I am afraid of uh, marriage. You're afraid? Oh, I'm afraid of death. I'm afraid of catching AIDS. I'm afraid of a lot. I, I like the way you list marriage in there with death and catching AIDS. Absolutely. They're all going to end your life, aren't they? The Tom Likas Show. 97.1.